Hey Brahmas, this is your principal, Ruben Jones. I hope the first few days of distance learning are going well for you and for your family. We've made a video, a short tutorial, to recap some of the most important components of distance learning. This whole situation is very challenging for all of us. And I want to remind everyone that, you know, it's a very fluid situation, this COVID-19 global pandemic that we're all experiencing right now. So what we're offering now is our best support and our best response in this current situation that is so, so rapidly changing. So with that, it's my honor to introduce our assistant principal, Mr. Matt Brummett, who's gonna go over some of the important details to help in distance learning. Hey Brahmas, this is Mr. Brummett, assistant principal at Diamond Bar High School. I briefly wanna go over our distance learning and support plan that we began on April 20th to address some frequently asked questions. Thank you for being patient with us. We have been working incredibly hard behind the scenes, getting trained and getting everything ready for you as we have trans transitioned our entire curriculum into an online platform. Before we go any further, I wanna give a shout out to all of our students, especially the class of 2020. We support you, we are with you, and we're looking forward to celebrating our seniors in the final five weeks of the school year. The first thing I wanna go over is our schedule. If you look at our schedule, it's broken into five different days. And each day, Monday through Thursday, has three different blocks. Each block will be used to support you in that certain content area. It's not necessarily a bell schedule that you're expected to be there for an hour and a half. If you look, each block is here to provide support to you. So if you have an English assignment, let's say, for an English teacher um, that they may assign on Monday, they can talk to you about it on Monday, have an assignment due on Friday, and then also be available on Wednesday as you work through that assignment. They can also be available to you to answer questions via email and provide support as needed um, during that block of time. Please know a lot of our teachers will be giving assignments early in the week and then use the time in those blocks to touch base with you and maybe even have that face-to-face -face connection as a class and answer questions that you may have. They also may be holding digital office hours. And again, our teachers are available via email as questions come up. We're here to support you. Our world-class GLCs and school sites are here for you. Our GLCs will be available throughout the week to help answer any questions you may have regarding registration, schedules for next year, as well as any social emotional support you might need. They're here to make sure that you feel supported. They also work directly with our teachers to make sure that you have everything you need. So if you feel that you need some extra resources or support, please make sure you reach out to your GLC and they'll provide that support for you. They also send out information from various platforms. So please make sure you're checking your student Gmail accounts as well as social media platforms. Our GLCs are available as needed by appointment um, during school hours where you can reach out to them and talk to them and they can provide any answers or questions you might have. And the best way to reach them to talk to them would be via email. We're also offering emotional support as needed, and you can sign up to receive direct support from your GLC or school psych by accessing the Need Emotional Support button on our school's homepage at ebhs.org. What about the grading policy? This is probably the most common question that we get. Let me start by saying that all we're asking of our students is to be present, complete your work, communicate with your teachers, and participate. We understand that every, every student situation is different during these unprecedented times. We're definitely taking that into account. You're going to use the next five weeks to complete assignments that will be used to improve your grades. So your work assigned prior to or on March 13th will weigh into a March 13th grade. Please know that even though it may have been completed prior to March 13th, teachers may have graded it after March 13th and that would have gone into your March 13th grade. And then we will weigh that against your final grade at the end of the school year. Whichever of the two grades is higher will be the grade that's assigned to your transcript. So again, seniors, if you had a D minus in a particular class and you're worried about passing the class, you're going to pass the class. But we're going to encourage all of our students to make sure that they're present in the class, regardless of their grade, even if you're getting an A, to make sure that you're completing work. Please don't see this as extra credit. We're not just going to make sure your grade is not dropped below um, what it was on March 13th. Remember, this is a time that is new to all of us. So let's show each other some grace. And our teachers are here to support you to the best of their ability. 
And we're going to work together as we finish the school year to make sure that you guys are in a position to be successful, not only for your transcripts, but for your knowledge base. It is critical that you access the curriculum and that you frequently communicate with your teacher to grow in your knowledge and skill set in the subject area. Again, it's really important to know that we are trying to support you the best we possibly can during this incredibly unprecedented time. And that means your grade can't be below what it was on March 13th. But again, this doesn't mean you, you can stop working. It's really important that you don't treat this work as optional and that you're reporting to class so that you can make sure your knowledge base is strong and you can work to improve your grade. Digital citizenship is really important. Please make sure that you're maintaining proper etiquette, such as proper behavior, language is appropriate, and showing students and your uh, instructors respect, that you're wearing appropriate clothing, just as you would to your, your physical classroom on a school campus in a given school day. Be present and turn off other devices that can be distracting to other students in the class. And we all know that we have, we have pets that may be barking in the background um, or you know, other family members that are talking in the background. It's important that you mute your mic when you're not addressing the class. If you're gonna be eating or drinking, that you make sure that you turn off your camera. Please be on time, no cyberbullying. And if you're not following any of these rules, you could potentially be dismissed from class. Um, for that given session or future sessions as well, but you would still have access to the curriculum um, in other ways, shapes, or forms. Please know that we're here for you. We're all in this together. Please reach out if you have any questions and you need any clarification on anything or you need additional support. Again, this, these are unprecedented times and we're all in this together. I want to also let everybody know that we've also partnered with CollegeWise to provide a series of webinars that will provide information about how the COVID-19 outbreak will impact college admissions. And we'll, our first webinar will be available to seniors on April 29th, and more information will be sent out about future webinars and uh, emails to students and parents. Again, class of 2020, we support you, and we're looking forward to celebrating you as the school year winds down. Thank you so much for your time. You got this, Brahmas. We're all in this together. Let's finish strong.